everyone, I'm Jimmy. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be setting up my traveler's notebook for October using Coco Daisy's Autumn Whispers collection and also a little bit of Planner Perfect. I'm so excited to be setting up my traveler's notebook for October. I just love the fall and all the colors. I had a difficult time though deciding on which leather to use. I chose Charlotte for now. She is a deep chocolate brown. This is a Planner Perfect Traveler's Notebook. Again, her name is Charlotte. Just very natural feeling and I love her. So she just seems to complement this well and just gives me a nice cozy feeling with all the fall decorations and stuff and that's what I'm going for. All the warmth and coziness to start the season. So I'll just start with a quick look at what I'll be using. This is a Planner Perfect insert and it's blank. I did get dot grid because I forgot to get dot grid last time and I used blank and I just I like the dot grid for now because I draw my own calendars in it. I like to have a blank one so I can set it up how I want. I do like the ease of the pre-printed calendars though, so I might go back to that eventually, but for now I like this because it allows me to have two pages for Saturday and Sunday, like a whole spread for Saturday and then a whole nother spread for Sunday instead of one page for Saturday and one page for Sunday which is what the pre-printed ones allow. But so for now, this will be good. And the dots help me to draw in my calendar. And I picked this print from Planner Perfect. It's Jenny's artwork and had this printed on it. I just love the vibrancy and color. And what I do, what I've been doing lately is I look at what the Coco Daisy theme is for the month and then I have enough time to choose a Planner Perfect insert that matches it, and I get them in plenty of time, especially since Coco Daisy reveals their box so early. We already know what November's box is gonna look like. So it gives me time to custom order my inserts. This is a tip-in from Jenny's artwork, the same print. And so that's the insert I will be using. I just love the brown and how it goes with this. This is the Traveler's Notebook I'll be using, Charlotte. And this is a wide, size wide. And I pulled together my stash. These are all my fall seasonal washi tapes. So I have a lot of those. Here's the tree again. I love that one. And most of these are Planner Perfect. I think this one is, these two are Coco Daisy. These, yep, I believe these are all Planner Perfect. They have such pretty washi tapes and they're very thick. They give you a lot so they last longer than some other companies. And then I have these accessories that I'm gonna use. Some charms. These are Planner Perfect charms. I love these. And then clips. These are from Coco Daisy. These are my cozy ones. And then I have another charm. This is from Coco Daisy. It's a coffee cup to clip on. And then I have lots and lots of fall tip in cards. So I just have so many of those, I think three years worth. So that's, I'm gonna be using some of this stuff. And then, this is the Coco Daisy Autumn Whispers Kit. I'm not gonna go through the whole entire thing. If you wanna see piece by piece, you can go onto Coco Daisy's website or their fan page and Christine, the owner of Coco Daisy, does a full reveal and she goes through each box and exactly what's in it. 
it came with this charm see it has little acorns but it was on this they usually put them on a paper clip but I took it off with my pliers and attached a little clip to it because I like to put it on my leather I like to put it on here I like to hook it to that string so I'm gonna add these to my other ones here as part of my fall and again it's called autumn whispers I love these colors I almost I almost chose jade because the green pops but I use her so much so I wanted to switch to Charlotte this time and then a sticker let me just go through these real quick this is the planner add-on so I get three different kits this is the planner add-on this is the main planner kit without the insert I don't get the insert and then this is the add-on sticker kit I like the add-on sticker kit because of these quotes. I like to put these on a page and have something positive to read whenever I open my page for that day. So just real quick, the add-on sticker kit has the quotes and you know, these are like washi tape. Don't you love that artwork? And then other nice quotes down here. Then some tabs, and I like to record my weight or my voice schedules on those. And then some alphabet stickers. So that's the add-on sticker kit. And then we have the planner add-on. With these kits, if I get the planner add-on in the main planner kit, I usually get three washies with it. So, you know, because the contents of the boxes vary. So these are the two washi tapes that came with the planner add-on. Oh, there you can see it better. Then these are tabs and die-cut stickers. Came with a pen case. I don't ever use these, but I probably should. Ooh, could always stick it. I never even thought of this till right now. I could always put my pens in it and then stick it in there. Possibly. We'll see. So that's a pen case. And then these I think are just stickers and cards. What's the color palette? Yeah, some like tip in cards. Fall is proof that change is beautiful. Autumn's my favorite color. Some stickers for appointments and things. Stickers, stickers, day of the week stickers. Labels, oh, I love this. I'm gonna put that maybe on the one of the dashboards. All right, and then we have these number stickers. And then these are rub-ons. You rub them on with that. But they're nice because they, they're very flat when you put them on and just, I like the feel of them. Oh. Okay, and then we have the main planner kit with more die cuts, which are stickers and there's some tabs in there too. I see the bigger tabs come in this kit and the smaller tabs come in the planner add-on. And then a um, paper pad. This is usually a sticky notes. Another washi. That's different. Is it the same? No, it's different. It looks similar, but it's not. This one has a white background. This one has a yellow background. This has pumpkins and a squirrel. So they're a little bit different. You'll see them more when I roll them out. Two little clips. Oh, that's cute. Love these little extra things that come. And an orange pen. And the pens run out very easily. So they always give you extra refills. Another tip-in card. 
and another pad. This one's not sticky. Isn't that adorable, though? And then, oh, a mild liner. That's nice. I wonder what color. I mean, it's orange, obviously, but... Okay, so it comes out kind of like a golden orange. That's pretty. Then, a bookmark, which I always use for just... Um, as part of the decorations are in my dashboard. And these stickers for the day of the week. More stickers in there. More stickers. And I love these. This is what I use for the dashboards. I'll use these and, and this. But it comes with papers and they're cardstock. That's a pretty orange. Nice. And a quilt pattern, nice. And leaves, this looks like it matches the washi tape. So that's nice, I like these two. I like the bright colors. So that's what I'll be using to decorate my traveler's notebook. Okay, so what I do first to prepare my insert, since it's blank, is I count the pages to see where I want, you know, what I have room for. So I will go ahead and count the pages and draw in the calendars, and I'll fast forward the video through that. Okay, I counted out the pages and I can fit all of October in here, except for, well, I can fit the last week, and I'll have Monday, which is October 30th, and Tuesday, which is October 31st, and then I'll have, still have room for my meal plan. I'm not sure if I'm going to put these last two days in November's planner or keep them in this one. Usually I go over to the uh, to the new planner because I like to keep my weeks together because I like to see the whole week so I can keep it balanced and I just operate better if I go by weeks. I don't like splitting them up. But it's Halloween, so I feel like Halloween belongs in October. But I'll figure that out later. Okay, so for the inside cover, I took some of the Coco Daisy papers, this and this card, and I actually copied it so I can paste it on. When I try to glue this cardstock on, it's just too thick. So I copied it so the color's not quite as bright, but I will just paste it on right here. just important that you really press it down hard and the glue stick works great if you're sure to put some elbow grease into it if you just lay it down lightly it'll it'll come back up but if you do this rub around the edges really good then it will stay there that's pretty nice I like this quote, fall is proof that change is beautiful because I'm going through a lot of changes right now and doing a lot of inner work. So that's very fitting for this month. Okay, so now that I have the dashboard, I guess that's what you call the first page, done, my next two spreads, next four pages are going to be what Jenny Penton calls goal pages. And more, more so than goals, it's also a place to put what you are gonna be doing that month, any special plans you have. Um, I like to put my daily routine because I change that each month. Here's my one, my goal pages from last month. 
I have, well, actually, it's still September now, so this month, my daily routine, and I tweak it a little bit. You know, I find out what works, what didn't work. And the weather changes, so that changes what time I go outside to exercise, stuff like that. I actually try to do yoga outside today. Well, I do it outside every day, but I did it on the grass instead of the deck, you know, just so I could feel the earth's vibrations and stuff. But the mosquitoes were too bad, so I ended up swatting them all off and running back inside. So that was not a good idea. But as it gets cooler, I can do that. So I'll make that part of my daily routine. And then practices for the month, different healthy things to do. I did my healthy eating plan, which I'm not sticking to very well. And then I do my, here were my books. I tried to commit to just reading these books. I failed, I read a bunch of other books and finished none. So, but I'm learning a lot. That's just how I do. I have, I'm just, depends on what mood I'm in, what I want to learn that day or that month. But anyway, that's what I did with my goal pages for September. So I'll have to decide what I'm going to use these for. I'm not sure yet, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and decorate these goal pages. I'm going to use these, the tapes from here, some of the washi tapes and some of the stickers. So I will speed it up while I do my goal pages. Okay, so now that I have the dashboard and my goal page is done, I left this one kind of blank because I'm not sure what I'm going to put on it yet. I'll speed up the video now while I do the weekly layouts. I'll only do one or two with you and then I'll show you the rest when we do the flip through.
Okay, so now I have done my weeklies and what I'm going to do is put tabs on them. So I have these tabs that came with the Coco Daisy kit. The big ones came with, they always come with the main planner kit. The big ones do. And you know, obviously they always match the theme. But I only need one of the big ones because I'm gonna use that for my tab for the meal plan. And then the smaller ones are what I use to mark the weeks. So I will fill these out and put these on. I want to go ahead and set up my meal plan page. I made the um, tab to go on it, but I need to decorate it first. And But after I'm done, we'll do a walkthrough. I think I'm going to do the mushrooms. I forgot to use this mushroom washi on the weekly, so I think I'm going to make this like a mushroom type page. So I'm going to use this. I'm finding that I'm, oops, that's crooked. I am missing Coco Daisy's free printables. They usually have free printables for subscribers. And since they have just recently switched over to a new website, they've taken that away. So they don't have free printables anymore. And I did not realize how much I rely on them. I use them for my goal pages and I use them for these pages. So yeah, I miss those. I wish they'd bring those back. All right, now I am ready to set up my October. So I'm gonna take this out of September. Sorry about that noise. The neighbor's doing leaf blowing. They always do it when I'm gonna do a video. They must know my schedule. All right, so I'm gonna use that. I have another one 
these, let's see, this one I got off of Etsy. This you load from the top. Okay, they go around the planner inserts and you can stick paper in there like this. This one actually, this is nicer, it's thicker, it's from Chic Sparrow. And it's just an insert cover. See, and this one goes from the side. So you stick your papers in there and it's called a dashboard. So goodbye, September. Hello, October. Okay, now I am ready to dress Charlotte up. We emptied her out and got everything ready. So, so first of all, I'll put my inserts in and we'll do a quick flip through once I'm done so you can see. Now, I don't know, this is my yearly. I'm good. She, it matches. This, this design that I picked out has really done well all year long. See, it has a little goldish yellow, green, brown, has reds and oranges, so it really matches a lot. I've been happy with it, and I love the back. The back is actually, there's a tip in, the same as the back. I actually put a request in to Jenny of Planner Perfect to do, if this could be the front of a journal, because I love the mushroom so much. So anyway, we'll put this in. So I'm not gonna need my dashboards as much, but I still want to use them. All right, so there's the two. And some people put three in them, some put four, and I have before too. But just for right now, this is really all I need. I'm trying to keep, keep it simple. Maybe I'll put another one in for the holidays. I'm not sure. So I'll just keep it like this for now. Okay, and now the dashboard. I don't know what to do with this now. I love the orange. So what I did is I cut the papers that came with Coco Daisy down to size and then slipped a card in. I love this one. So it's a cover for an insert if you want to cover it up, but I don't want to, I don't know if I want to cover mine up. I love this brown against this. So I think I'm just going to stick mine in the middle for now till I figure out what to do with it. I need to find another insert to put in here. But for now, I'll just enjoy the colors. That's so pretty, isn't it? And then what I think I'll do is I think I'll take this Planner Perfect pad out for now because it's almost empty and put the one in that came with the Coco Daisy kit. Look at that cute little squirrel. It's not the same size, but it still stays put. And I love the brown of this leather so much, so now I can see it more. Okay, so we have that. That's just beautiful. And then, so to dress her up, I picked out some that will match. I like putting one here that goes sideways because it just fits better. So you have that one or that one. Oh, that's pretty. And for some reason, this one, I just love this tip in card. This is from the September box of Jenny's. It just gives me such a cozy feeling. I don't know what it is, but I just love looking at that when I open my planner. Matches with the orange. I just don't know. Or that. Or that. Not this one. It doesn't have enough orange in it. So it's between these two. I'll just stick this one in for now. And this is a clip that I got from Coco Daisy last year. Here's the bookmark that comes with the Coco Daisy kit. So just stick that in there. And this tip in, I just love this one. Something about it. So I was gonna try to use this one. That's pretty. Can't see her boots though. 
or maybe this one. No, maybe this one. I think I'll stick with the with the girl. I just like her. I'm just gonna put her on there. There, that looks pretty, not too busy. And I'm gonna use my new orange pen. Okay, I forgot that I wanna put the stickers in here. So I want to be able to access these when I'm when I have my planner with me, like if when I'm on the couch in the evening, when my husband's watching a show that I don't like. So yeah, I'll just stick these in here. Oh, that looks nice. Then I still have room for her. Actually, I might not put her in there. And then these little stickers. So I'll stick these in here. Okay, so I'll have the stickers in there, and now I'm all ready. Now, for the charms, I think I'm just going to use both of them. The th good thing about the Planner Perfect charms, they're so easy to hook on. So you just, it, it takes nothing. Now these other ones, where's my other one, that have this kind of clip, it's just harder to get on. You have to hold this the whole time and then it doesn't go up far enough. It's just harder to get on. But the Planner Perfect ones, see, they just, you don't even hardly have to push it in. It just like slips on. So I love that. I'm gonna save my coffee cup for the colder months. And I think I might even use two. Just for now. Until I decide. So those look cute. Now for the top, we have a lot of choices. Isn't that cute? Where we have this one. That's pretty. I love the simplicity of that one. That one. Ooh, yeah, I just, I always go toward the nature-y ones. I love all things nature. Change is beautiful. I might have to use this one because of the quote. Because I'm working on change now. As I think we probably all are. Now that's the same picture as on my insert. That's really pretty. This is the one I had on there. I think I'm going to go with this one because of the quote. And let me stick it on there with this. And the colors. I love the colors. So there she is. There she is. Now I'm going to just do a quick flip through so you can see the finished product. Well, not completely finished because I did not set up my monthly October calendar yet. Oh, this is going to be nice opening this every day. I just love that. And then we have the dashboard. Change is beautiful. I'll let you know later on what I end up using these for this month. And there's the first week. I just love that little squirrel peeking out every once in a while. And then I did not do my daily pages yet, but I did the weeks, as you can see. Here's the second week. And the third week. Whoops, it's coming off. <clears throat> I love this washi tape. It's textured, so it goes really well with the bark on here. Oh, I just love the leaves falling. And then the fourth week. I haven't decided <clears throat> whether to put the... Monday and Tuesday of the fifth week in here, or put them in November. So I'll decide later. And then here's my meal plan page. And so I made a box to put freezer meals in. I have things in the freezer, so I want to include those when I go to pick my meals. And I just list a week's worth of meals with the heart. And then as I use that meal, I fill the heart in. 
and then I know I have all the ingredients for that week. And it's just the perfect amount of space for the month. And I do have an extra page if I need to go over. So that's that. Ah, oh, that's so pretty. Very bright. And then I'm gonna do my October monthly, which I have not decorated yet, but I will do that soon. So that is, <clears throat> that's my October setup. And so I hope you enjoyed the setup and I will see you next time for my monthly setup when I set up my October calendar. Thank you so much for watching. It was so much fun setting this up. I'm so excited for the fall and I'll put some links below for you to check out and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.